Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to talk about erectile dysfunction because we've had a couple of questions lately from people wondering whether Vivitrol or the naltrexone implant or I guess naltrexone tablets can cause that. Uh, and it's a good question. Um, and I have to say in the 20 years uh, I've been using implants and, and Vivitrol, I can't think of one patient that that's ever caused that. So I think the answer is almost never. I mean, nothing's ever never, but um, when you think about it, it doesn't make sense that it would cause problems with erectile dysfunction because um, we know that opioids actually suppress testosterone. There's lots of evidence that all opioids do that. Uh, methadone, even in suboxone treatment, can lower testosterone. In fact, I saw a patient uh, last week and uh, his testosterone was less than 100 uh, on suboxone. Uh, where a normal would be somewhere around 600 to 1200 and, and he was really suffering quite badly from that so he's now gone off to see an endocrinologist. So opioids lower testosterone and certainly could cause some problems but opioid blockers do the exact opposite so they actually help restore the, uh, the natural endorphin system um, and so they shouldn't cause any erectile dysfunction or, or any problems uh, like that. Um, the truth is erectile dysfunction and even sex drive and other parts of the whole you know, sexual uh, you know, system are affected by many, many things, stress being one of the biggest ones. And we know that when people are actively using drugs uh, and alcohol, their lives are not going well. Uh, by the time they come to us for treatment, their lives are pretty much in the toilet. And so uh, sex drive and, uh, and sexual uh, you know, quality of their sex life is usually pretty low you know, strained marriages and strained relationships and dishonesty and all sorts of things. Uh, and that doesn't help anything. We do see some problems uh, for people in the first you know, couple of weeks or maybe even the first month if there's been a lot of stress and a lot of marital or a lot of relationship stress. So we expect that, you know, normal relationships take time to build trust and to build uh, intimacy and all of that sort of stuff. So. With recovery, everything works, uh, you know, builds back to normal, and uh, that's been our experience is that things go back not just to normal but to great, uh, you know, because when people are working a good program, they're, they're being honest, they're being trustworthy, they feel good about themselves, their self confidence is good, their relationship improves, communication improves, everything just gets better. And so that's, that's what should happen, and that's what's what usually does happen. So that's the good news. Uh, so don't worry if uh, you're on naltrexone, it's not going to cause erectile dysfunction or loss of sex drive.